Good morning, it's Johnny Elkington here from Northern Fog. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm down at the beach, it's crisp, it's cool, it's wonderful out. It's nice and dry, so I got to ride my motorcycle today, which is good. You know, every day I get to ride my bike, I find it's just a good day. You know, I love the freedom zipping through the city. I've just got a little uh, 250cc uh, enduro, and it's so much fun. So that uh, really made my morning, getting to ride down to the beach and of course spending a little bit of time chatting with you guys this morning as well. So lately I've been trying to focus a lot more on my day job, you know, my real job, the job that pays the bills and allows me to buy all this vape gear. Um, you know, I find it really easy at work to kind of lose my head uh, up into a vapor cloud. You know, I'm a, a salesman by day, I, I sell uh, new cars actually. Um, so, you know, my state of mind is, is quite important and if I'm off daydreaming about vapor, sometimes it affects uh, my business. So anyway, I've been focusing a lot on working my day job, but I haven't forgot about all of these wonderful vapor products. You know, one of my goals is to come up with a couple of new little vaping innovations that I can make a little bit of coin off of and I can kind of do that as a job rather than get up every day and, and go to work. You know, wouldn't that be a nice dream? Spend your day inventing and vaping and just having fun. You know, that's what I want to do. So I am working towards that. You know, I know I've been talking about this for a long time, but I have been working a little bit on my patent. Maybe not as much as I should. Uh, turns out writing your own patent is very difficult. Uh, and I'm getting some help from a friend of mine. He is a patent lawyer, so he did uh, submit some stuff, but we really want to make sure that when we get that preliminary patent in, that it's got all of the information that I need uh, for my proper vapor invention. So I've been working a lot on that, and obviously I'm not going to tell you what it is, I'm not going to give you any hints, but just, you know, you can feel comfortable knowing it's not a tank, it's not a mod, uh, it's not a coil jig. You know, it's nothing that we've seen a heck of a lot of before. And, you know, honestly, I'm not sure if everybody's going to like it. But once I get the patent in, I'm going to show you exactly what it is. And I'm going to let you guys decide uh, whether or not it's something I should move forward with. If I should put my time and energy into pursuing this product. Um, there's another little product that I've been uh, considering doing, uh, which is kind of like wick, but I don't know. I mean, I don't really use fancy wicks, so I don't think that that really interests me that much. You know, but anyway, uh, somebody suggested it and I thought, eh, maybe, you know, fancy wick to me just seems silly. I always use cotton facial pads. <laughs> you know, they're cheap, they wick great. Um, I have tried Sapima cotton and cotton bacon and all those premium ones. And I just don't think that they wick nice enough to spend the extra money. Um, what am I vaping on right now? You know, I talk a little bit about the patent. Uh, today I've got uh, the same thing I have every single day. So I've got my IPV D2 here with the Serpent. I'm loving this. I've got the same uh, Clapton coil in here and the same wicking that I did on my Serpent review. I haven't even cracked this thing open to take a look at it. It's not leaking. I'm not getting dry hits. The vapor is nice. You know, one thing I like about this Serpent is you can kind of casually vape it a bit, you know? If you're somewhere where you shouldn't maybe be vaping, you can just have a little toot, you know? And that's something I really like about it. I think this is a great one for work. I bring this to work and use it at work every single day. When I'm not at work and I'm at the vape shop, I'm at home, um, I usually vape on this, which is a dot mod Petri with the dot mod drip tip. And of course I've shot reviews on this. Uh, and my Hexome. Now I know I haven't done a review on the Hexome yet. Uh, it's good, I like it. It's maybe not for most people, but I really enjoy it. You know, it does have a little bit of adjustment here, but it's got no protection. So you need to be careful with this, but I love the vape. Really, really good, that one. Um, but I'm not gonna vape that too much down here. You know, I think uh, I'm allowed to vape down here in the park. You know, we haven't actually passed that legislation in BC yet, deeming uh, vaping the same as cigarettes. But, you know, you're not supposed to smoke here, so I don't really vape here, but it's a beautiful spot to come and hang out. Uh, for juice, in here I've got something from Clouds, which is my local shop. It's their BBM. It was their first house juice. I really like it. It's a fruity menthol, but it's not too menthol-y. It's really good. Uh, in the tank, I'm rocking this Hannibal Lecter Baby Clouds, strawberry lime. That's really nice. Um, but I am thinking about making my own juice. So down at Clouds, they're pretty cool. So they make new juice all the time. They'll make like a one liter batch, they'll bring it to the shop, they'll taste it out, they'll see if anybody wants to buy some. If people buy it and they come back and they say, hey, I want some more of that whatever, then they go out and make more. You know, I think that's pretty cool. 
So uh, I'm pretty close with the guys down there. We hang out quite a bit at the vape shop. Uh, and we were talking about putting out a Northern Fog type juice. And my idea for a flavor was white Tic Tacs. Um, so you know when you first take a couple of Tic Tacs and you pop them in your mouth and the very first flavor you get. So it's sweet, clean mint with just a little bit of vanilla. That's what I want to make. And I think I'm going to call it something fun like uh, tacking. You know, put a picture of a sailboat on the bottle because you tack and sailboats and tic-tac. Uh, and I like to shoot videos down at the beach, you know, sailboats and stuff. Anyway, that was my idea. Tell me what you think. Would you vape some uh, white tic-tac flavored juice? I don't know. I think I would. I'd at least try it. Um, so yeah, that's something I'm thinking about making my own juice. Uh, and then there's the mod. Ooh, building his own mod. So as I go every day, I bring this, um, you know, this stays at home where I take this out to the vape shop, lives in my bag, and this one lives in my pocket. You know, and I really don't like how tall it is. So my idea for a mod is a little SX350 chip in a little side-by-side, -side. you know, get the tank down here so it kind of fits in your hand, nice and comfortable, and I'm gonna make it out of premium wood. So I did shoot some video on the mod making, which I did a couple of days ago, and I am gonna share that with you. Uh, once I get the mod back so that I can also show that to you. So I'm working on it with my older brother and he is a skilled craftsman. Uh, he's a tradesman by day, builds lots of furniture, jewelry boxes, that kind of stuff at night as a hobby. So I'm getting his help. And we got a pretty cool machine we set up. It basically works like a CNC machine, but you attach it to a drill press. I don't remember what it's called. You bring it down and there's some little dials. Anyway, I'll show you in a video. So that was pretty fun. We were digging out some boxes the other day. The one that we ended up making didn't quite work. Uh, it just wasn't quite big enough on the inside. There wasn't enough wood on the outside to really shape it, but it was a really great first start. So we're gonna go back and build some more of these. You know, the goal is to nail down the process and then I would be able to replicate doing that on the drill press with a CNC machine to make a whole bunch of them with really consistent quality. That's the goal. So I'm gonna make one for myself using this kind of different technology, show it off, see if anybody wants to buy them. If they do want one for themselves, then we're gonna do a production run and you can buy one. So I'm pretty excited about that. You know, really, I'm making this mod uh, for me. You know, this is what I want. I want a little wood box that fits my tank. Tic Tacs. Little wood box that fits my tank. Um, and makes it look a little classier, a little smaller. You know, sometimes when this is in the pocket of my dress pants, it falls over sideways. It's really irritating. You know, this model be kind of square, so if it falls over sideways, it won't matter. Anyway, that's the hope. So I hope to get that video up in the next couple of days. Uh, right now, he's got the first prototype that we did because he's still playing around with it, trying to wrap his head around it. Um, he's pretty funny, you know, he'll just look at it and just uh, think really hard. How can I make this better? Um, He's a crazy perfectionist. I'm sure, you know, the first five I'm gonna think are great and he's not. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I think the model turned out quite good. Um, the patent I'm hoping is gonna turn out quite well. We're gonna make a little bit of juice. Uh, so I've got some exciting fields here and I hope that sort of one of these is popular. Maybe I can work on that a little bit more uh, and eventually move away from the day job and into uh, vaping as a full-time career. But. I do really like my day job, so that might be kind of hard to do. Yeah, that's really what's going on for me. You know, I'm thinking about what to buy next. So I'd like it at home uh, if you guys would leave some comments here. Tell me what do you think about a little wooden side-by-side -side mod? Um, what do you think about Tic Tac flavored juice? And what do you think I should buy next? You know, I watched the uh, Vape and Heathen do a review on the new Segeli tank. Uh, it's kind of like a dripper with a little tank on top. You know, it's another one of these tanks pretending to be drippers. But this one, I think, is just really more of a dripper. And it looked interesting. You know, it kind of had Kennedy-style airflow, but it didn't have adjustable juice flow, and he didn't say it leaked. Only has two mils of capacity, but it's really small. Uh, I kind of think I want one. I don't know. We'll wait and see how much they are when they come up for sale. Um, just another RTA to add to the collection. I have also heard that uh, Dot Mod is making a new Petri version 2. So I'm saving my pennies because I love this Dot Mod and hopefully the version 2 is somehow better. I don't even know how you could make this better, but I'm sure they figured it out. So I am uh, holding my breath on that one. 
And I did have a really interesting experience with dot mod uh, last week. So uh, I was trying out different dot mod drip tips and I found the drip tips wiggled on the top of mine just a little bit, especially the bigger ones. This one fits nice and snug. So I kind of sent dot mod an email and I was like, hey, I wonder if maybe some of your drip tips are different or if the cap on mine is different. You know, I tried them in all the different caps at the vape shop and they didn't wiggle. So I thought maybe it was mine and I was just like, hey, you know, I was wondering, have you heard of this? Um, lady emailed me back in 15 minutes and she was like, oh, you're having problems? Like, that's cool. Do you want me to send you another top cap? You know, what can I do to help? I was blown away with the service at dot mod. You know, I know their stuff is expensive, but I'd spend an extra 20 bucks for quality and service, an extra 40 bucks for quality and service all day long. So I was really, really pleased with that. And I do think as soon as the new Petri comes out, I'm gonna buy it. So I'm sort of holding off buying different RDAs because um, I can't afford as many as I want, right? So you kind of got to pick what you really want. As for tanks, I'm pretty satisfied. Uh, mods, I'm building my own. I don't know, what do you guys think I should get next? What would you like to see a review on? Hopefully it's something that I can borrow so I don't have to buy it. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, be forewarned, I'm not gonna buy any sub-ohm tanks. I have, I just don't like them. You know, I used to like them, now I'm building coils. Every time I buy a sub-ohm tank, I use the coils it comes with and I never use it again. So I'm probably not gonna buy any sub-ohm tanks. Maybe the uh, new Joytech Cubis, maybe. Um, yeah, what else have I got on the go for you today? You know, I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about. Ah, most important thing, he almost forgets. My fans, Jesus. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have noticed, if you've been with me for a while, but I'm gaining a lot of uh, new subscribers and I'm very, very happy about that. You know, I'm at 1900 this morning. That's crazy. You know, for those of you that are just joining my channel, uh, I started this channel in November, you know, with a greasy little uh, Movember dirt stash and didn't really start getting any followers till sort of mid-January. So that's really, really exciting for me. I'm, I'm I'm blown away, you know, thank you guys out there for your support. You're the reason why I do this and it, it means so much to me. You know, doing these little vlog videos, getting to show off different products, encourages me to find out more about this e-cigarette stuff, to try and develop products that I think people will like. You know, it's your support that pushes me into this field and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, blown away. You know, it's only a matter of time before I gain enough subscribers that I can start to get some of these products free for the purpose of review. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, so far, I've gotten nothing other than a bit of juice. Um, and that would be great. You know, I can't afford to buy all the products that I'd like to try and review. So the more followers I have, the more people interested in my channel, you know, I can actually get some of this stuff and I can just show you more gear at home. And that to me is very, very exciting. Here's the sun. Hello, Mr. Sun. I bet the light's way better on my face now. Um, this is a beautiful spot. There's lots of trees around. It's nice and quiet. You've got a beautiful backdrop. You know, I'm so happy to be here and I'm glad you took the time to join me on my little vlog today. Please leave some comments for me. Tell me what you wanna see. Tell me what I can do that uh, you think would be really cool. I don't know. You know, I'm looking for uh, videos that are popular so that more people join my channel. You know, uh, so yeah, let me know. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of this vapor journey with me. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Goodbye for now. Best vape ever, maybe. <laughs>